coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. E-learning could mean the end of snow days in the Wabash Valley. In years past, if it snowed like it did this week, most students would get a snow day. With access to Chromebooks and e-learning, Vigo County School says it just makes sense to keep educating. The district is also on an e-learning day today. Meanwhile, Indiana State Representative Tanya Paff of Terre Haute is calling on the governor to prioritize vaccinations for teachers. She sent a letter to Governor Eric Holcomb. She said teachers are being overlooked and abandoned in the vaccines distribution. Paff says vaccinating teachers lays a foundation for safely reopening schools, which is necessary for the well-being of students. In Indiana, a new law offers COVID protections to schools and businesses. Senate Enrolled Act 1 stops people from suing a business. That's if they thought they caught COVID-19 there. However, there are exceptions to this. If the business was negligent and not following health and safety rules, it would not be protected. CBS News has confirmed federal prosecutors have begun to a preliminary investigation into New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. That's over how his administration handled nursing homes during the COVID-19 pandemic. Cuomo said he made a mistake by not providing accurate information on deaths. The Campbell's Holocaust Museum in Terre Haute reopens today. It was closed due to the pandemic. When they reopen, organizers say you will see changes. You can learn, shop, and even get some free items. Starting today, the museum opens every Friday and Saturday. Well, some experts believe Illinois may see its highest deficits on record. Governor J.B. Pritzker is proposing a $42 billion budget plan for fiscal year 2022. Some experts believe Pritzker's proposed plan will only help Illinois' economy in the short term. The Illinois Policy Institute predicts the state could see a projected deficit as high as $33 billion over the next five years. Some at the, at the Institute believe the only way to solve this problem is through long-term structural changes. The Wabash Valley is battling a blood shortage, and that's due to the recent winter storms and the pandemic. There's a critically low supply of O negative and O positive blood types. To learn more about donating, visit the address coming up on your screen. That's donate.versity.indiana.org. Martin County looking to upgrade its dispatch system. That system was hit by lightning last year. After repairs, crews found the system was in desperate need of upgrades, which are expected to cost between fifty dollars and $100,000. The funding will come from the county's 911 funds. Good morning. Very cold today. Temperatures are going to be in the lower 20s, a wind chill below zero throughout parts of the day. And we are going to have a mostly sunny sky. So it's going to look nice, but again, it's going to be very chilly. So be careful outside, especially tonight when cloud cover returns. Temperatures drop to the single digits and our wind chill continues to be at a dangerously low place. Tomorrow we're going to be warmer than we have been in a while. We're going to be right around 30 degrees. Partly sunny skies will take over throughout parts of the day, so that means more cloud cover tomorrow compared to this afternoon. We will see peaks of sunshine. You see our seven day forecast showing the chance for rain arrive. That's right, rain could fall with some snowflakes though, but for the most part, our temperatures are going to be above freezing and whatever snow has not started to melt due to the sunshine we're going to have today and tomorrow will begin to melt at the end of the weekend. All right, thank you, Brady, and thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you for joining us and have a great weekend. For the most local news, every newscast, every day, you can depend on News 10. Coverage you can count on.